Hello guys, this is Kishan and this video is to understand wrapping of PLSQL code. So to begin with, uh, let's understand what is wrapping. Wrapping Wrapping is the process of hiding our PLSQL source code. What happens is, when we are delivering our source code to our clients or uh, our customers, we are on one hand giving them the source code where they can you know see our PLSQL code and make changes to it or understand the business logic so sometimes uh, we need to wrap this PLSQL plain text code into something which delivers the functionality but doesn't give the uh, plain PLSQL text code on such scenarios wrapping would be used what would happen is we would wrap a particular function procedure or all the function procedures and packages in a way that the uh, plain text code of PLSQL will be wrapped, will be encoded which cannot be again unwrapped by any third party. So by wrapping the PLSQL code we can stop the misuse of our, of our application also we can hide our business logic uh, through it. Basically, wrapping can be done in two ways. Either we can use uh, wrap command line functionality or we can use dbms underscore ddl subprograms. Uh, this video tutorial will concentrate on wrap, wrap utility through command line. So, how to do it? I'll just uh, show an easy example on it. Say, suppose I have the following PLSQL code to wrap. So what it is, it's a simple function named wrap sum. It takes two, two inputs, that is PLS integer, uh, and then it will take, do a sum of both of them and return it. It's a very simple function. So if I want to wrap this function, what I need to do is I need to uh, create it in a uh, text file and save it with .sql extension. And then through our command line, we have to first of all go to this location that is minus C and I have created a folder called wrap utility so I will go to this path and over here uh, my file name is wrap underscore sum dot sql so to wrap it what you need to write is wrap wrap i name that is the name of the file that is to be wrapped i name is equal to no space is nothing the syntax should be followed as it is and now the file name the file name is wrap underscore sum dot sql now if you want to give a specific output name of the you know object file created you can give something like o name is equal to the name what you want if that extension will be dot p BL, but it is not really required if you don't give an output name what it will do is it will create this uh, an out object file with the same name so let me just do it as you can see over here it says plsql wrapper release elon uh, that is oracle release and processing wrap or uh, wrapping of this file to this one has been done so as you can see a third file is created over here wrap underscore sum dot plb this is the object file that is created now when I open this object file as you can see my code I there is no code over here now only the declaration of the function is shown but the code is encoded you know it is wrapped it is wrapped in a way like we cannot look at the business logic we cannot make any changes to this so what I can do is I can just run this function on any schema if you are giving to client to the production schema or like that just execute it it says the function is compiled now you can use this function as any normal function the implementation remains the same like this was a function which adds to number right so when I do select wrap sum and give two inputs such as 3 comma 7 from view element I execute it I get 10 3 plus 7 so the functionality remains the same the implementation is done but what happened is even when you go in functions and you try and you know I'll just refresh it open this function over here wrap sum 
then if you see there is no code there is no plsql plain text code it is all wrapped so the business logic cannot be seen also it cannot be changed by any developer so this should basically be done only in the production environment you know because in development environment you need to keep on looking at the code and changing the code so you cannot do it in if it is wrapped now say suppose if you want to make a uh, changes to the function what you need to do is you need to change that plain script file again drop this function first of all here change the plain text file again wrap it again and you know implement that again you cannot directly edit a, a wrapped function over here you need to change it in the source code that you have so you need to maintain that source code also if you will you know delete the source code file and there is no way to get back you know unwrap it so this is basically wrapping how you can you know say uh, uh, save your plsql plain text code you know if there is complicated business logic or some you know uh, very important things then uh, you can hide it through this by using this uh, other developers or you know your client or customers will not be able to you know directly get the uh, plain text file but there are some limitations to wrapping limitations are uh, you cannot wrap triggers you can wrap object types you can wrap procedures functions packages in packages it is advised that you would, uh, you should all only you know wrap the package body because there is where that is the place where all the implementation code will be there is no point of wrapping the specification because in that case again you will not come to know what is the specification and you know again you need to check the source file and the other drawback is like uh, wrapping is not downward compatible that meaning is like your code of uh, oracle uh, 10g will not work in 9i so you need to have separate files for that um, the other thing is like wrapping as you know we have written it in a text file and then saved it with a dot pl uh, dot sql extension there is no uh, syntax or semantics checks you know you might be right Yeah, selecting from a table which does not exist, as the code is not compiled in our Oracle database, you know, uh, so there is no uh, syntax or semantics check done. It will throw an error runtime, you know, when it is run, it will at that time it will give an error. To save such from such things, you can develop the code in database in our PLSQL environment. Then you can now copy it to a text file, uh, then wrap it, if possible, delete from the environment, as you know, something like that. and the other thing is like when you wrap a particular file uh, the size of the file would increase you know 2 to 3 times normally at least 2 times the file size would increase uh, so that is one of the limitation of wrapping though the performance will be the same um you can always check it like how it, how you are getting it but the size of the file will increase so your size of the code will increase like if you are wrapping all the functions and procedures then the size of the code will increase in that case so this is wrapping in plsql you know very good way to hide our code i hope you guys enjoyed this video please do like share and subscribe thank you